Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We are starting off today here in an 80 person free for all battle here in Europe. Full sin against humans is disabled, so we can attack freely without the full worry of consequence. We are starting in this Northern Africa spot. Hopefully, it does work out for us. We did, it worked out the last time we did. We made a great friend with bars. Hopefully, we are able to repeat that. But as we get going, we actually have a pretty good sphere around us. Nobody is anywhere near close to us. We can push up north into the Iberian Peninsula. That would be a good move for us as, as soon as we finish our development here in Africa. Unfortunately, we do get a couple players that come in at the last second. That is all right. 79 players remain. Uh, nine players have already left. And uh, that one player doesn't look like he's growing. Okay, so that is not a concern, at least for the time being. We'll see if he activates or I think he just left. No, he's still there. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on him, see what he does. But uh, I'm just going to play my regular game. I'm not going to play in fear of that. Uh, TR Ottoman and uh, iOS user 563 are going to be heading off in a pretty big battle against each other. Full send incoming below us. Uh, good thing there's no full sends allowed in this game mode, so we don't need to fear that nearly as much as we get off to a pretty good start. Not, uh, we're in the top 10. We're not in a great spot, but we do have some room to grow. We will go into this, uh, this player down here without any fear and just attacking bots as we can and trying to push out. I do want to get out Liza as much as possible so I can cut off uh, potentially anybody else from going over there. As we do get an early crown, we'll continue to keep pushing over into the east. Bot Luca, we will take on no matter what, and we'll push down through this player down there that did become a bot. So we are getting off to a pretty good start. Now, expanding our borders this far is a bit of a risk. I will admit that. It does expose our borders quite heavily, but I do feel like taking the land, especially as that uh, purple player over there is rather weak, and that is a great target for us to potentially go into. I won't do that one in immediately. I will take this truce with you down here and just continue to save up. Wait for a good opportunity. The player in the Iberian Peninsula was able to take over a lot. I will take a truce with you. Uh, TR wants to go into Polson incoming. I much prefer to wait. Uh, so we will say yes to that. But, uh, oh, he's already attacking us. Okay. So uh, he holds to, true to his name. He's going to try and Polson as much as possible. This is not a great beneficiary spot for me to be in, especially as iOS user is saving up a lot of troops. Ottoman Empire is just sitting around. Uh, he's complaining that I'm not attacking. Brother, you charge. You have more troops than me. What are you talking about? Um, we'll go into this guy over here, grab a little bit of land. That's why I want to be positioned over here in the first place. And that worked out really nicely for us. We'll go into a full send incoming as he is a continuously wasting his troops on us. Finally, Ottoman Empire decides to join in with a big attack. He's going to get a lot of land out of that. Unfortunately, it was just not a position where I really felt comfortable in attacking too heavily as I do have some pretty big neighbors around me. So... Iowa's user wants to go into British Empire. That is, brother, that's literally the worst move I possibly could make in this position. I will get literally nothing out of it other than strengthening you. So we will not do that. Instead, we will just consistently wait, building up our troops, waiting for a good opportunity to go into us. Iowa's user does go into the British Empire all on his own. Look, it was possible. Uh, you want to go into the Iowa's user? I agree. I think that's a smart play. So we will do that. Uh, here in a bit i do continuously want to save up i don't need uh, i don't know why ottomans wanting to be so aggressive we could easily lose this battle or weaken ourselves up to the point where jethro is able to take out both of us so i'm just going to continue to wait and not do that right now uh, i was user is going to continue weaken himself up going into the british empire so there's nothing but time on our side we can definitely just hold our ground here uh one player 115 above me is actually pretty weak uh let's go into this guy yeah now he's at his weakest ottoman empire is also in on this you want me to do that? I'm going to say yes to this. Let me finish up over here and then I'll join in on player 115 above me. In fact, do I want to go in right now? I do. I do. This is a great opportunity to get into this player. iOS user does have those two down there to worry about and they can finish up the job. I'm not going to get a ton of land out of it. I much prefer to get land up above me. I think that's very smart. Jethro is offering us a truce. That's a very interesting proposition right there. Uh, iOS or player 115 is decently strong. He's got a million troops. He is in the fifth place position, so I'd really like to take him down or at least get some help from potentially Planetary or Femboy Republic in order to get this done because I don't foresee my path forward into the east being very, uh, you know, fruitful as Jethro is right there. So we'll just continue to keep pushing into play player 115, never giving him the opportunity to really build up. Femboy Republic is getting attacked by the bot Duwin and so is Planetary, so I don't think I can count on either of those. But, uh, player 115 fortunately is kind of uh, getting frustrated and attacking me rather than just waiting. And down he goes. He is falling out of the top 10. And now we'll just be able to quickly wipe him off the floor and move up the leaderboard ourselves. Ottoman Empire does betray us and starts attacking us. He's mad that uh, I stopped attacking iOS user. Okay, that's perfectly fine. We'll gain the rest of this land. We'll move up in the leaderboard. We'll get a truce with planetary and hopefully be able to push back down into Ottoman Empire. A little bit unfortunate maneuver for us. I don't know if uh, iOS user 563 is really going to get involved. Let's try and get a truce with him. 
as now we have a new target to acquire and attack. Ottoman Empire is, uh, he's getting really aggressive. We do get a truce with player 563. He's wanting me to go into Ottoman. You know what? That was my plan too. Let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. We'll definitely take down this backstabber right here and start working him down and uh, slowly but surely start to take him out. As we have a lot more troops than he does, we're in fourth position overall. So we are in a very strong position for ourselves. So we will just continuously wait here, just continuously attacking him ever so slightly, but building up our troops to do so. I always use as indicated that he is probably not going to attack until I've got an Ottoman Empire on the back foot. Planetary over here is incredibly strong and it is a big concern of mine. But if I don't do this, all I do is sit and wait for my death. Planetary does have some people all around him that he might be concerned with. So it does seem like a decent opportunity. Those two over there might attack a planetary. So I, I think that's what he's afraid of. And I don't think engaging in a large target like me would be a good move. I always use has moved his way into Italy. That's very interesting. So now we have this isolated 1v1. Not a lot to do here other than continuously attack Ottoman Empire. Slowly, slowly but surely whittling him down. Jethro is going into the east, so he's not going to be attacking iOS user. Not necessarily the worst thing for me. I don't need to have two giant players on my borders. We'll just slowly but surely take down this guy. It's going to take a long time, which I guess is his plan. There's no full sitting allowed, so uh, brother, you can charge anytime you want. It's, it's up to you if you want to do this. Uh, there we go. He's finally in on this. So uh, TR is saying, don't attack me, brother. You attack me. I don't know what you're talking about. Planetary is getting absolutely massive. He's pretty scary. We're not that far behind him in terms of overall size. Actually, we're about 20,000 pixels behind him. So getting this land, either it works out for us or it doesn't. Not attacking is not really an option at this point. If we don't if we don't attack more, if we don't grow, we just lose. So we'll gain this little pixel here. We take out Ottoman. He's finally out of the game. And now we are sitting at kind of third, fourth. All right, third, fourth place. And now it's become, what do we do next? Planetary does now touch boards with the crown. I think that might've been a mistake on his end. For, uh, C CK Taiwan won, nothing to do with that. Let's get Jethro Truce. Maybe we can go into iOS user together, strengthen ourselves ever so slightly. He's probably gonna wanna do that because he is bordering that very strong player over in Turkey. He does give that truce. I gotta take a risk. It's a big risk, I understand, but there's no full sending, so we can definitely get it done. Jethro is in on this. Absolutely, that's super good to hear. We'll just keep attacking iOS user, weakening him ever so slightly, grabbing a little bit of Sicily along the way. Jethro is going up, and Planetary is coming down to assist with this attack after all, so we do have a little bit of support on that front. Planetary is holding true to his truce, and uh, iOS user is attacking me. Very understandable. I have attacked him first. I initiated in the beginning, and I didn't initiate this kind of gang up opportunity. Now, granted, I didn't get Planetary involved, but I set up the situation perfectly for Planetary to get involved. So now we're third strongest in the world, just a thousand pixels behind Planetary, so now we need to save up, get up our strength, and hopefully hold the line a little bit as we do get attacked. We'll go ahead and grab this and this and leave the big island for our boy Planetary. I don't want to get on his wrong side. Jethro wants to attack Planetary. Not necessarily the worst plan. I'm actually a big fan of it. We can work together on this. We can be a great team. I imagine this is going to strengthen the crown ever so slightly, but it is a risk we have to take. And hopefully Jethro is true to his attacks. He does have a little bit to gain in Italy. I have a little bit to gain in France. Uh, the crown is offering us a truce. Very interesting. I'll go ahead and accept that for now. I think there's enough people around him. Oh, Planetary is going into the crown. This is a great opportunity to go into him. Let's say Jethro, charge. Activate our plan. Yes, Jethro's in. Jethro's a boy. Let's go. Unfortunately, this is going to strengthen the crown, but in a way that I feel like is recoverable in the long run is uh, 898 eight, is also attacking Planetary. So is CK Taiwan. So everyone's in on this now. Even Drew as well. We'll continue to keep going into Planetary, grabbing as much land as possible. We move up into second place. Overall, we do not touch borders with the crown, so we do have some opportunities to kind of build up and wait a little bit rather than charging right away. Jethro did a great job. Jethro gives the thumbs up. Absolutely, brother. Uh, CK Taiwan might be a good maneuver for us. I, do I go on to Drew? I don't really want to strengthen the crown. He would get so much land off that. Jethro wants to go on CK Taiwan. I'm in. I'm in. Let's do it. Let's work on this together and get borders on the crown together and then work down the crown together. Hopefully, uh, Drew Sta Sta Stallion is going to be a little bit more... Hopefully, he wants to be a team player, I guess, is kind of what I'm trying to blurt out there in the end. I do want to leave a little bit of borders with uh, Jethro. I'm trying to get a truce with Drew. I don't want to cut off Jethro because he's going to be pretty essential. Unfortunately, it looks like we're all going to get cut off together. Let's, let's slow it down for Jethro so that we have shared borders on this Drew player. And now we can work through him. This is kind of a, a, test, uh, a matter of time that we need to get this done quickly. Otherwise, the player 898 is just going to win. Brother, get in get in there. Get in there. Push through. Push through. I can't attack again until you attack. Ooh, do I just leave him behind? That's a pretty risky maneuver. 
I want Jethro to be on my side. Okay, Jethro, I have to leave you. I have to leave you. I have to get borders on the 898 before he takes out the other player. Let's just continue. There we go. Let's try and truce with that guy. Hopefully he understands my reasoning as I need to get involved in attacking the crown. Let's try and get a truce with the uh, Osan Bruto guy. As 898 is attacking us pretty heavily. Very unfortunate for us. And Drew cuts off the border. Oh, Drew, that was not the play. Uh, I was try hoping that he would understand. I think he's trying to protect 898, which seems a little bit foolish. But now Osunab, Osunab, Osunabuto is going down. I cannot pronounce that. I'm trying my best, guys. Give me a break. So he's going down. We'll go ahead and capture as much land as possible. This is going to very much strengthen Jethro. And Jethro will hopefully be aligned with us in attacking the crown. If he doesn't do it, then this is a very self-sabotaging mission that we're engaging in. He, <laughs> 898 does give me the, uh, the thumbs up. He is not very happy about this. Uh, Jethro, do you want to get involved? Let's go, brother. It's our time to win. One of us is going to get the crown. We get a big attack by 898. He's really trying to push us through the chokehold. I'm trying to hold off here. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. And Stalin, Stalin, has once again cut me off. What a fool. Okay, well, now we got to go into him. We fortunately strengthened Jethro up to the point where he's at least going to win. So if we can't win, at least one of our allies can. A very bad play by Jethro and, and just kind of a, a dumb maneuvering. I don't know if he was with the crown on that front. They had a long truce. It would have made sense for the crown to go into him. So maybe they were working together after all. We'll just continue to full send him over here. Jethro has earned the win. So if he wants to take me out, completely understandable on that front. He played an absolutely amazing game and was able to kind of work together, play some patient ball and uh, get the crown. So GG's to all involved. And as we start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made this far in the episode. If you haven't made this far in the episode, hey, give it a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. But boys, I will see you in the next one.